a very interesting story to talk about right now. There is a company in Salt Lake City called Converis. I have the director of marketing, Russ Warner, on the line with me right now. Now, why would a public, or why would a privately held company in Salt Lake be of interest to me? Well, because of the concept of truth detection. What's going on in our society right now, particularly on the federal government level, and I would have to say on all levels of government, um, as Mr. Warner said when we were chatting off Mike, you get a lot of economy of uh, uh, of truth, for lack of better terms, when, politi when politicians are talking. I mean, right now, for example, Russ and I are chatting Friday afternoon, day before the show is going to air. And what do we have? Well, we have the fact that potentially Jeff Sessions is supposedly going to get fired, even though Trump vehemently denies this. We've got a lack of information coming on the on the Clinton scandals of the investigators. I mean, with all of these things, and this is only the tip of the iceberg, who is telling the truth? Russ, i got to ask you, in your opinion, what's going on in federal government? Why don't we know the truth of very, very important topics right now? Oh, that's a very loaded question. Yeah, it's a very loaded there are question. Many, many, many reasons why people don't tell the truth. Um, they are doing it to protect themselves. They're doing it to protect others. They're doing it to cover up issues or, or um, crimes that have been committed. There are just lots of reasons. You know, I, I don't I, even know where to start. Yeah, I mean, that's a great answer. But my question is this. Why has the U.S. on such a high level, why do we even have to deal with the truth? I mean, the truth should be self-evident, as it says in the Constitution or the Declaration of Independence. I'm sorry. Well, that, that's that's right, and and in a physiological sense, telling a lie is actually not natural. So our bodies are really not wired to lie, but we do it for the reasons I just mentioned. Um, and for that reason, well, and the other issue is that deception detection technologies haven't really been used in the government, even sometimes in court, because there is no perfect lie detector. And for that reason, those who are carrying some weight around of some, some indiscrepancies or indiscretions, I should say, mm -hmm. um, they don't want to be tested because if they fail the test, it will look bad. And if they fail the test because the test isn't perfect, they can somehow point to the fact, oh, it must have been a mistake because there's a possibility the test was wrong. So the, the, the people who are trying to cover the truth don't want to be tested for those reasons. The people who want to tell the truth generally speaking, would have a bit, much better chance. Lie detectors do detect truth in people who are telling the truth, and they would, uh, the, the truth tellers really would have a better, to be a much better outcome. At least it strikes me that um, truth detection devices could at least point investigators in a direction that perhaps they wouldn't have looked at before. I mean, I'm a, a real political junkie, and I'm pretty conservative, although by, by the same token I'm fairly independent. Uh, it, it just it strikes me as being amazing some of the stories that are out there that it would be very, very easy to determine the truthfulness of many of those stories. I mean, our country's future, in my opinion, happens to depend on it, Russ. Just give me a comment on that, if you would. Then I want to talk a little bit about Converis, what you, what you guys are doing. Well, until recently, until um, our technology was, was um, launched to the market, and for about 80 or 90 years, the, the real de facto standard for lie detection was the polygraph. Mm -hmm. And the polygraph, there have been other technologies that have come about, but none of them have been economical enough or accurate enough to replace the polygraph. And so you've got, a, you've got a, an analog machine that was effective for decades, which was only recently upgraded to the digital world in the early 90s. And you have this, this technology that measures physiological responses, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your respiration, and your skin conductance. And that's been the de facto standard. But now, with the technology that we have, which is different, we measure different physiological changes. We measure changes in the eye. Because when you lie, your eyes exhibit certain behaviors, including one of the most diagnostic, which is that your pupils dilate. And your pupils dilate when you think more. So when your cognitive load is increased, your eyes uh, reflect that change. And liars have to think up a story to cover their tracks. 
with details and events and people that don't exist because they're covering or creating a story. And when they do that, their cognitive load increases. And when, we, when we're observing their eyes during that, that uh, story creation, um, we, we detect that pupil dilation and other behaviors, and we can pinpoint to the fact that they're being deceptive. You know, Russ, I've got to tell you, I think this is a very, very natural uh, direction for us to evolve into in terms of in terms of what's going on around the country, in terms of what's going on around the world. Now, I could be mistaken here, but it strikes me that you guys, and you're a private company, so you don't have to disclose any information, but it strikes me that you're having some relatively good luck in terms of foreign countries picking up this uh, this, this mode of operation. Am I correct? Yeah, we are, primarily because they're they're... There's one major law in the U.S., the Employee Polygraph Protection Act, uh, which was enacted in 1988, that prohibits the use of lie detection to be used on private company employees. So the majority of employee, um, workers in the U.S. have never been tested with a lie detector just to get a job because it's illegal. But outside the U.S., it's not. And for that reason, we've had much more broader acceptance among mil military and private companies and intelligence agencies outside the U.S. because it's much more common. You know, Russ, it strikes me, just from a common sense standpoint, that truth detection, for lack of better terms, given the fact where our society has is today, and I hate to repeat myself, but I have to do that, but I think it's an incredibly important avenue to go. I mean, you know, it's 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 a good analogy to me is that you know the Israeli, for example, the Israeli system of of of, of screening uh, passengers on 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 air flights or on people coming into the country or whatever is probably the most effective in the world. And in the United States, we can't use that because of arguments from the ACLU. I mean, how long are we going to be counterproductive, Russ? I don't know. That's a good question. But the, one of the one of the benefits of having two tests, one like polygraph, and one like eye detect, is that if you were to test a person with both of these solutions, because they're both independent in in what they measure, one measures bodily response and one measures, for lack of a better word, uh, brain response. Because they're independent, if you could test someone using both solutions on the same topic, if a person could pass both tests you'd be about 98 or 99% certain that they were telling the truth. So we now have a way to eliminate what has been, I guess, the biggest barrier to using lie detection, which is that nothing's been more than 90% accurate. But now if you, if you combine two solutions that are independent, you can get very strong results, and there would be less likely of being able to blame the instrument or the equipment for the test failure. So things well, can, can actually change going forward. Yeah, I mean, at least it would provide investigators a more solid direction to go in when seeking the truth. And i got to tell you, Lord knows right now, we have to find out the truth. The future of our country depends on it. It's, it's amazing to me that U.S. citizens and people around the world can read our newspapers and not get a totally middle-of-the-road opinion on facts, and that concerns me a lot. Russ Warner, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you, Al. Appreciate it.